In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to get started with Azure Cloud Storage API in Python. All right, so this is going to be a beginner tutorial, but I do expect that you have at least some experience working with Azure and Python in general. Now let's get started. All right, so first we need to open our browser. They want to uh, log into our Azure account. You can log into your account by going to portal.azure.com. And if you don't have an account, simply just sign up for an account and it's free. Now on the home page, you want to click on this uh, hamburger icon. They want to select storage accounts. Now on the top, we want to click on create to create a storage account. So basically you can create uh, multiple accounts for different purposes. Now here we need to choose the subscription and the resource group. Now for demonstration purpose, I'm going to uh, leave my subscription and resource group as default. Then I can click on review. Now there are multiple things you can configure and I need to uh, go by. Seems like I failed one of the validations. All right, so let me go back to the basic tab. Okay, all right, so here uh, I forgot to create, provide the, uh, the instant details information. Now here we need to provide a name for the account. Now name this as GG Demo Account. And make sure that your account name does not contain any space on the score. And the letters need to be in lowercase. Then select the region that is closest to you. As for the performance, I'm going to choose standard. So by default, the standard performance is already pretty fast. But if you want to make sure that you don't have any uh, latency issue, then you can choose premium, which is going to be a little bit more expensive. Then you can uh, set up the tiers. But for mine, I'm going to choose standard. Then I'll click on review. Now, as I mentioned before, there are other things that you can configure, and which I'll cover those in a separate video. But for now, this is going to be a beginner tutorial series. I'm going to simply uh, just go to the basics. Now here, click on create. Now it's going to initialize in the deployment, and it's going to basically set the storage account. Now I'll just give it a second. Now, once the account is created, let me close this. Now we can uh, go into the overview page. All right, so here, let me go back to the uh, home page again. I want to click into storage accounts. Now here's my GG demo account uh, storage. On the overview page, you can see all the information that are tied to uh, this uh, storage account. Now here I want to click on access keys. And since I want to automate uh, Microsoft Azure storage using Python. Now from the access keys page, you're going to see two sets of keys. Now to connect to my GG demo account storage, I'm going to copy my connection string. Copy the connection string and save that somewhere safe. For example, you can save the connection string in an environment variable. And for demonstration purpose, I'm going to save the connection string in my Python script. All right, so I'll name the variable storage connection string. Now I'll paste the string here. And let me expand this. All right, now we need to install the Python package. Now to install the Azure storage Python package, we can use the commit pip install Azure dash storage dash blob. And to connect to Azure service, we need to install another uh, Python library called Azure dash identity. And enter to install the uh, Python libraries. Now for this demo, I'm going to uh, show you how to do two things. I'm going to show you how to create a container using Python, followed by uploading my files to this container that I'm about to create pretty soon. Now, if I go into my project folder, in my files folder. So here I have a list of uh, icons or image files that I want to upload to my uh, Azure storage account. All right, so once we install the uh, Azure storage client libraries, we can go ahead and import the libraries. Now for this exercise, I'm going to import the OS module and to connect to my Azure storage account from azure.storage.blob, we need to import the blob service client class. 
All right, so let's see. Now, first we need to create an instance of the blob service client object. All right, so from the blob service client class, it should uh, from connection string. And we're going to pass the, it should, this should be, let me see, oh, I have a typo, this should be storage. We need to pass the uh, storage connection string to the from connection string method. And I'll name the output is blob service client. Now, if I simply run this code block, and it's going to construct this uh, blob service client object. And this object here, basically, uh, it's a bridge that connecting to here, let me go into my container. So this blob service client object is basically linking to uh, my GG demo account container right here. And here another typo. Let me fix that. And once we construct the connection to our address storage account or container, and we can now go ahead and uh, do the things that I want to do based on our use cases. Now, I want to create a container. Now, name the container GG image folder. All right, so unfortunately, we cannot insert any space, so any dash or any underscore in our uh, container name. Now, to create the container from the blob service client object, let me delete this line here. We can use the create container method. Now, we'll provide the container name. Actually, let me name this as container name. And here we can also set the access using the public access parameter. And you can set the value as one if you want to provide public access to the overall container. If so, want to uh, use the string blob as the access uh, parameter value. If you want to provide public access to the entire container, then you will uh, set the value to container. If you want to set everything as private, which is going to be the default, then you want to use uh, the access value of. Now, for now, I'm going to set the public access as of, and which is going to be the default value. So I'll get rid of the parameter. Now, go ahead and create the container. Now, going back to my uh, container and refresh. And here's my JJ image for the container. Now, to upload files to that container, oh, and here I forgot to grab uh, the output. Right, so I'll name this as container client. Now, let me delete this uh, container right here, and I'll recreate the container. Now, it's like the container is still uh, in process. All right, so let me try again. Okay, so let me name this to uh, image folder 2. Oh, I forgot. Use the uh, refresh uh, button. It's okay. So here's my JJ image folder 2 container. So as you can see that we can quickly uh, use Python to create a container folder. So if you need to create multiple containers, then using Python, we can quickly achieve that. Now to upload my image files to uh, this uh, JJ image folder to container, which is going to be this uh, container client object here. All right, so first I need to create a variable that I point to my image file folder. And I'll name this as file folder. And the folder name is going to be files. Now I want to iterate each file in the files folder. So I can say for file name in. Now if I want to list all the files, I can use the os.list function. And I'll provide the uh, folder path. And that's going to uh, return a list with all the uh, files name in my files folder. Now once I have the uh, name of each file, I need to first of all, create a blob object. Right, so from the blob service client object that gets blob client, we need to provide the container name where we want to save the file. 
and the container name is going to be this uh, container name variable. As for the file name, they will need to assign the file name to the uh, block parameter. All right, so here I'm going to print a message, uploading file, followed by the uh, file name. Now at this point, we have created a blob object, but this object is currently in a empty state, means that uh, this blob object does not contain any data. Now to convert this uh, blob object into an actual file, we need to upload the uh, byte string or upload the data byte to create the actual file. All right, so here I can say we open. Then we need to provide the uh, file path, and it's going to be file folder and the file name. And for the mode, it's going to uh, read as binary as data. Let's just name this as file data. Now from the blob object, we can upload the data using the upload blob method. And it will provide the file data string. And that's it. Now if I go ahead and run uh, this code block, and it looks like uh, all the files are uploaded. Now just to make sure that uh, everything is uploaded. So I'm going to go back to my account, refresh. Now go into my JJ image folder to container. And here are all the image files that I just uploaded. And let me open just one of the file. And I can see that this file size is 362 uh, KB. And click on download. And open the file. And here's the image that I just uploaded to my storage account. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hope you guys find this video useful. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.